Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to SSH into a server using the native Windows SSH client. Windows 10 comes with an open SSH client that we can use to connect to any SSH server. So let's get started. First of all, we need to see that if is the SSH client enabled in Windows, yes or no. To do that you need to go to start and you search optional features you could either click on this one or this one and here you need to search if we have the SSH client installed yes or no if it's not we need to go to add features and we need to search SSH here we need to install this open SSH client click this and click install Once it's installed, you need to go to your PowerShell and confirm do we have the SSH command available, yes or no. You could open PowerShell by just clicking start and searching PowerShell or you need to right click on this Windows icon and you can go to PowerShell from here. Once in, you're in PowerShell, just type SSH and you should be able to see this command working. Once we have that running, let's try to SSH into our server. This is just a local IP. I've just uh, started this uh, virtual box image that I will use to connect on Windows. So let's try to connect SSH. Root is the username at, you need to type the IP. It will ask for password. For now, I'll just put this password virtual box using this uh, SSH from the Windows uh, PowerShell now another thing I want to show is how to connect to this uh, Linux server without password so for that we need to create an SSH key I'll show you how you can do that in Windows so that in, we can log into our server without a password so let's do that First of all, we need to have a SSH key created. That key we need to add into our Linux server. And then next time we will be able to log into it without a password. So to generate an SSH key, you need to type this command. SSH dash key gen. And the type of the key that we need is RSA. And you press enter and it will show you the location where it's going to save the file. By default, uh, it, it's selecting id underscore rsa. Let's keep it that way and press enter. If you still want a passphrase for your key, you can insert password here. But it, then again, once you log into your system with key, again it will ask for password. So it's your choice. You want to give password or no? So we can leave it empty if we don't need any password. Now it has created the key in this location. So you can actually, it's basically your home directory. So let's go to the home directory. It is in this location. So this PC, C drive, and you go to users folder and then your username of your computer and then go to dot SSH. So this folder could be hidden. So you need to make sure you are showing your hidden files by going to this option view and you click this hidden items now that we are in this folder you need to just see that it has successfully created this id underscore rsa id underscore rsa, RSA dot pub pub is a public key this is the key that we need to add into our server to log in without password id underscore rsa without any extension is a private key we do not need to share it with anyone else it's just for uh, it's used to communicate between public and private to make a connection so let's copy this public key and add it to our Linux image. So let's first log into our Linux server without uh, with the password. So I'll go back and I'll copy this password. Inside our uh, Linux server, we need to create a dot SSH folder if it's already not there in the home directory. So let's first go to home directory. Typing cd space and press enter. 
now we are in our home directory let's see if we have the ssh folder already there if if you're on a fresh machine you might not have it so let's just remove it let's assume that you're on a fresh server and you don't have the um, dot ssh folder so let's create one mkdir dot ssh and we need to create a file inside it vi dot ssh authorized underscore keys so this is the file that contains the public keys that can uh, we can put inside and that can log into this machine without password so we will create this file press i and let's copy this public key and paste it here and press escape and then colon w q that means write and quit and then sign of exclamation press enter now that we have this folder and file created we need to set the permissions so we need to do chmod 700 for dot ssh folder and 600 for the authorized key file inside the ssh folder once this is done uh, let's try to exit it and next time let's try to log in to this server and here we are this time it's logged in without requiring a password how it, it logged in was basically we have in our home folder we have this id underscore rsa private key so once it's connected to the server and the server try to authenticate that public key with our local private key and then it got a success that's how we were able to connect to the server i hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching